Next week, one of our own is Dancing with a Mission. Jodion Thompson is here this morning to tell us all about it with some of the folks she's working with. Good morning. Good morning to you, Lindsay. We are so happy to be here. I'm joined now with Jerry Smith, who is the Executive Director of the World Outreach Foundation, and Victor Golub, who is my dance teacher for now. And Victor, you are actually an award-winning dance teacher from Russia, who now lives in Kansas City. I appreciated your help so much. But I want to start with you first, Jerry. The the dance that we're talking about is a week uh, from now and on Saturday and all of it goes to benefit the World Outreach Foundation. Tell us how important what we're doing is to the foundation what this fundraiser means to. Well this is our major fundraiser for the year. Um, we have a couple of smaller ones but this is really what allows us to make a difference to the homeless in Kansas City which is really what we're all about as a foundation. Right. Um, and so this is the main event of the year and You've been practicing for it, and everyone's been working for it for a year. And there's been a lot of people uh, donating their time to pull all this together. I mean, from film crews to the dance teachers Absolutely. to Paramount Dance Studio in Overland Park, letting us borrow their um, space to practice. So many people are donating their time. All the professional dancers, the quote stars, it's sort of like a local dancing with the stars. And all of it is to benefit, like you said, the homeless here in Kansas City. You have these clinics every Saturday. Talk to me about the clinics and exactly what that money goes toward. Okay, well, what we do as a foundation, our passion is to help, it's to bring access to health care to those who don't have it. And in Kansas City, um, that means medical clinic every Saturday. Um, free clinic um, for the homeless here, and it's a primary care clinic, and we do what we can to help them with their medical issues. And really the point of this foundation's fundraiser is to allow us to expand that, broaden it, um, to add extra days, extra services. Um, so we're adding dental and we'll be adding a children's and a women's clinic uh, here real soon. So that's what the money will go for. That's what we need to raise money to do. We're looking at some of the photos on air right now, and there's a reason why you're not seeing pictures of some of the homeless in these photos. Jerry, explain that decision to me. Well, really what, we're, what you're seeing here on, on the pictures is um, our volunteers who give up their time every Saturday. And really just for reasons of, of because it's medical, because they're homeless, we just decided it's not, you know, we don't want to show the faces of the, of the patients who we see, but we see pr uh, pretty much 30 patients every week uh, when we're there. So, as you say, what you saw there was really the people who make that go, our volunteers, our volunteer physicians, nurses, um, and also our lay volunteers who really just help to keep that that clinic functioning every Saturday. And it's really amazing. I've actually been there. Mm -hmm. You do it in a shared uh, workspace with the Hope Faith Ministries. That's right. And they're generous to let you use that space. And it's amazing what you do. You have those doctors who volunteer every week. You have those nurses. You mm -hmm. have someone who's working. I don't mean to make this sound bad, but sort of like a makeshift pharmacy even where people donate Absolutely. medicines that they can then distribute out to the homeless. So any money, any donations, and any time is what makes this helpful for those folks. Absolutely. And a lot of what the, the people who we're seeing, they just they don't have ready access to even over-the-counter meds. Um, they don't, can't just go down to CVS, to the Minute Clinic, and a lot of times they end up in the emergency room. And so we're just trying to be there for them so that whenever they have a medical need, uh, we can do what we can for it. We can write prescriptions for them and we can just help them out. Um, you know, hopefully every right. week if they need it. And Victor, you are one of the dance teachers. You're one of eight dance teachers where you are working with people like me who are, quote, the local stars, and God bless you. <laughs> Victor and I have been doing a lot of work dancing together. You've been very helpful in this, and you've donated a lot of your time. So what does it mean to you to be involved in this? Uh, I enjoy and I really like to, to help. Mm -hmm. so I'm yeah, happy. this is what I deal with in my dance lessons. <laughs> Victor, you're a man of few words, but we appreciate you. We appreciate all the work that everyone's doing. The dance is coming up, like we said, in a week. It's on Saturday. It's at the Sheridan uh, over in Overloom Park. You can still get tickets. Those tickets are $125. And you can also go online. We have this story posted for you online right now, and you can vote for the dancers, including myself. Uh, all the dancers there are raising money, and you can vote for us right now. All right, thank you so much, gentlemen, for being here no, this thanks, morning, Michelle.